fish pie. That's what we're cooking today. We've got a beautiful world famous fish pie. Well, maybe in Pocono, make it for the neighbors. They love it. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit different. So I'll put a chef uh, twist on it. We're going to flavor the milk with something a little bit different. We've got some uh, bubbles in there as well and another little secret. And then we've got a nice selection of fish here. We've got scallops, salmon, gurnard in there and some prawns. But you can put any fish in you want. And then we've got a beautiful, lush, rich um, potato topping. Uh, so I'm going to show you all the secrets and how to make my world-famous fish pie a little bit later. Great artwork today too. I think they're fish. Anyway, thank you, Jesse, for that. This is where we get to go and have some fun in the cafe kitchen and Mark's famous fish pie, which is a little bit fancy pants today, isn't it? Oh, a little bit, yeah. We've chefified it. Chefified it, I like so, that. That's, that's a word in the dictionary. Right, so we're going to make the topping first. Yes. So we've got uh, some potatoes, so yep. just um, large chunks, salted water, Cook them until they're nice and tender, so your knife goes in. Yep. Drain them off. Yes. Back in the hot pan, over the heat for about another 30 seconds to steam dry, so there's no liquid in there. Okay, So you great. can start mashing that now. Cool. And then as you're mashing it, you yep. can pop some, um, we've got some uh, Parmesan cheese in there, so that's just yep. going to go down. We're going to season it with a little bit more salt and pepper if we need to, and some cayenne pepper, just to okay, give it a bit cool. of flavour. And uh, we're going to pop some butter in there as well, because we yes. like butter. Yeah. Go the butter. So, uh, yeah, butter and potato. Yeah, Class, Classic combination. The parmesan's right. quite a nice touch too, I would imagine. Yeah, so it's nice and cheesy and uh, we're getting all these flavours in there. And then another part of this recipe, uh, we're going to make a nice creamy bechamel sauce. Yum. Um, so that's just basically with milk, a little bit of mustard, you can put some white wine in there, but we're using bubbles. You can use white wine if you want. But just to get some extra flavour in there, we've got some prawns. So get whole prawns and then all we do is just sort of squeeze and pull the head off. Keep all these pots and then uh, Peel all the shell off, so just quite easy, just peels off like that and then you're left with the flesh, so we're going to put that in the pie, but then all the heads and the shell, we're going to pop into a pot and then we're just going to just pop it on the heat, we're just going to start crushing those down a little bit and then we're going to put the milk in here and we're going to infuse it for about 20 minutes and that's going to give us a beautiful sort of prawny, fishy, extra depth of flavour in our fish pie. That is we're gonna fascinating. <laughs> we're get, we're get... Wait until you taste it. Okay, well, I'll trust you. All right, so just sort of crush them down, pop that on, bring it up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, and just get that flavour through the milk. We are going to strain the shells out, so you won't need to eat that. <laughs> if, if that's what you're looking at. No, so, no, so we're looking at fishy milk, really, aren't we? It's flavour. It's all flavour. Flavour flavor flavor. milk, flavor. not fishy milk. I mean, if you didn't want to do that with the prawns or you're not putting uh, shellfish in there, you could do the same with uh, some smoked fish. Oh, yeah. You know, you could take the skin off of the trim and you could put that in your milk and then you get a beautiful sort of smoky flavour. That means you're not wasting anything, exactly. either. Exactly. And, like. and then it's all about flavour. Right, so we're going to start the, uh, the base of the fish pie. So get a pot on, a little bit of oil in there, and then I've got some um, carrots, yep. fennel, leek, and onion all chopped up and then we're just going to sweat that down so I'm just going to pop that in there so just chop it nice and small uh, sort of even amounts of everything okay and then just keep it over like a medium heat a little so bit what have of you got here carrot fennel yeah and leek okay cool Jeez, that smells good. And onion, and onion. And onion, and onion. <laughs> okay, cool. And then, so this is going to be the base. So you've got it nice and small, so it, it's, it's not going to take long to cook. So two, three minutes just to sweat down, bring those flavours out, and a nice bit of texture in your pie as well. Yeah. So a little bit of butter in there. Okay, I'll do that. So you can stir that. So we've got the mash for the topping, that's all ready to go. Yeah, I think Did so. Season with some cayenne pepper. Yeah, I think I put a bit too much in because <laughs> it was a little bit spicy. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be good. That's all flavour. So we'll let that infuse, we'll strain that out. Yep. And then we're going to add a few more bits and bobs in here and make the sauce around the vegetables and then we'll go through the fish a little bit later in our second segment. And we're sweating down our leeks, our carrots and our onions here. Yep, so you can see that they've just softened, you know, they're starting to bring out the flavour. We've not got any colour on that, so that's what we're after. Good. All right, now we've got a little bit of mustard, whole yep. bit of mustard. Keep pop stirring it away. Yep, yep. Stir that in. And now we're going to pop the flour in. Okay. So pop it in, just sort of sprinkle it in and start uh, stirring it through your vegetables. Yum. And then wait until all the flour sort of coats your vegetables. Yep. And then we can start adding the wine. So you can add the wine. Yep. And we'll bring that up to the boil. So we can yep. turn the heat up a little bit. And then once that comes up to the boil, the alcohol will be burned off. And then we can start adding our milk. So we've just um, strained this. Yep. So you take all the shells out and then it's full of flavour now. And then that's going to be the base of our sauce. Yeah, so the smell of it is full of flavour. Wine can go in. Okay. Right, and then we've got a nice selection of fish here. So we've got some salmon. Uh, we've got these beautiful scallops as well, so we're going to leave the row on. But then with a scallop 
you've got uh, there's like a little muscle on the side, mm -hmm. so you just want to take that off because that can be a little bit chewy. I guess that why you're taking that. You don't yeah, want to so chew, just chew take, through your take pie. that off. But leave the scallops whole. Leave the row on the scallops if you like it. Best part of the scallop, uh, some people say. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> some would say. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I actually quite like scallops. So at this yeah. stage, you can see the, 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 the liquid's in the flour, so it's going quite thick now. So now you want to just sort of give a, a splash of milk yep. and gradually add the milk. OK. And keep stirring it so you want it nice and smooth. OK, I'll just take that whisk out. OK, I'll take that. Cool, thank you. OK. Oh, I don't want to muck this up for you. Yeah, keep, yep. keep stirring it. OK, cool. And then you're, pretty, you're going to take all that milk. And then you can go to whatever thickness you want now. Right, How so thick do you really want it? Well, nice and creamy. I mean, it's going okay. to be in the uh, the oven for about half an hour to an hour or so, so all the fish is cooked. So it's, it is going to carry on sort of thickening. So do it a little bit thinner Jesus, than you want it. Jesus, smells incredible. You can pop a little bit more milk on there. Okay. So I'm just going to take the skin off the salmon and then just cut it into some nice pieces. So leave it quite chunky. You know, you want a nice, a nice fish pie, but you want those nice chunks of fish. And lots of different fish as well. So we've got the salmon, we've got some gurnard here, you've got some scallops in there. But pretty much any fish you want... I was want, just going to say, you, you can, said right at the you start, can you can use any fish, so this is yeah. great, isn't it? OK, this is thickening up nice. Might just add a little bit more of that, actually. It's looking That's good. It. I mean, you could just do this with, you know, just normal fish or just smoked fish, just one, one type of fish, you know? But it's all, it's all about flavour. Right, and then we've got our prawns as well. So you can you can either leave these whole, or it's quite nice as well just to um, split them. So you can cut them in half or leave them whole. But just you've got to split them down the back. Yes. And then just pe take out the uh, poo tube. <coughs> <laughs> so take that out, and then you can just pop them in whole. Isn't that flavour though? D no. <laughs> flavour you don't want. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some flavour's bad flavour. Yeah, yeah, good. OK, good, so we've got the fish going on here, um, and we've got this. Is this about thick, thickness right? Yeah, yeah. No, we want some more. Yeah, we'll put okay. a bit more in. And you just got to make sure, like, the most important thing now is um, once it's thickened, bubble it for a couple of minutes, and then you want to taste it. You shouldn't be able to taste any flour. We need okay. to get that flour cooked out. OK, good tip. Thank you. All right, and then once the flour's cooked out and you're happy with it, you know, we'll do a final uh, seasoning with some salt and pepper, and then we'll just drop some um, cheddar cheese in there just to richen it up. Nice. Cafe.co.nz if you want the recipe for this. And any other recipes, Mark makes some delicious food. A lot of people say this is their favourite segment. It is. Okay, yeah. Mark's my favourite. Mark's my favourite on the cafe. I love his cooking. And I'm like, what about me? What am I, chopped liver? Uh, but anyway, I'm a good stirrer, apparently. And there you go, another masterclass in stirring in the kitchen. Beautiful. So it's been in the oven, it's been baking. We just, uh, we built it up before. We put the cream on top of the, or the bechamel on top of the fish, put the mashed potato on, and then a bit more parmesan and some breadcrumbs. And it's all toasted now and cooked and beautiful and ready to try. Oh, bring it over. And this is, is this why we call these things a fish slice? So we can get in the fish pie. <laughs>